You know the saying, happy wife, happy life. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk with DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this rather basic but interesting design that I use to solve a problem and make my wife happy. Anytime the wife is happy is a good time for me. So one of the things we've been doing over 2019 is having a house built uh, as well as a shop for me. So that's the exciting part. Watch for some upcoming videos on that. Uh, however, one of the things when the builders installed the um, electrical for the front porch, if you will, they recessed it into the vinyl siding for a coach lamp. Now, one of the things my wife fell in love with these exterior lights that have a stem on it. I'll do a bit of an overlay here. However, the issue is that stem bumps up against that trim and creates a gap at the top of the housing for the light. Now, it is on a covered porch. But there is the possibility of, of moisture getting in there. There is a sealed box behind it. So it's not a good thing, but it definitely here in Michigan, and especially since we're out in farm country a little bit, we're gonna get bees and hornets and everything else making a nest in there and it's next to the front door. Not a good thing. So how do we solve this to make my wife happy, keep the bugs away? Well, I turned to OpenSCAD and I designed this. Now, uh, you could design this in Tinkercad. Didn't happen to be OpenSCAD. It's just, you know, I, I'm an OpenSCAD fanboy. So what I did is I took the measurements of the light housing and I created a gasket. Now, I just didn't create a flat gasket. I did this with a little bit of intention in mind. One of the things that you'll notice is there's a rim in here for the light fixture to set into. So one of the pieces with the top of the light fixture like this, if there is any type of water or whatever, the light fixture, the, the housing or mounting for it will be recessed in. So it'll roll over like flashing and onto the light fixture and down. The other pieces, this inside seal is meant to be a bit tighter and uh, it create an inside seal too. So basically, belt and suspenders when it comes to seals. And uh, again, just a flat back to go against the back of the housing that you see. Now, the piece with this is I turn to TPU. I really like working with TPU. It's one of my favorite plastics for production activities. Yes, it is a little bit flexible. Uh, however, in this case, and in a lot of cases like this, flexibility is good. The other pieces, it stands up to high temperatures. This is gonna be on the front porch of the house. It is going to get rather warm in the summertime. Again, it is covered, it is shaded. Uh, PLA would not stand up to this. ABS might, ASA or nylon probably would. Um, but TPU definitely will. So that's why I turned to it. The other pieces, it really holds up or has, for me anyway, under uh, UV light. Now, obviously, it won't be getting too much light in a covered porch and recessed in like that, but still a good thing for being outside in the elements. So again, wanted to share this design idea. There's a couple different aspects, as I've pointed out, that hopefully you can take away. So if you run into a problem like this and you need to make your significant other happy, there's a way to do it uh, with a simple 3D design program, a 3D printer, and some plastics like a TPU or even PETG. So hopefully you found this interesting, inspiring. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it, it helps drive the channel. Don't forget the subscribe button, hit the bell twice so you get the ring notifications when I put out new videos. And uh, we'll see you in the next one where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up.